Hello everybody and welcome back to the experiment. It's your boy Landrup here back on X Now it has been a minute since recording the last X Craft, but what I've been doing is some small projects on stream and off stream. So I've got a project off stream that I'm doing that I'll go and show you in a second and I've got a project that I'm doing that I'm doing on streams now if you do want to see the streams I am now streaming on Twitch so if you do want to follow that the link will be in the description and I'm trying to stream every day over there it's not always xcraft but there is gonna be a fair bit of xcraft on there because I want to get things moving and some pro projects going now, one of these small projects that I'm doing in between episodes and that is I'm working on the house. So like I see here, look, I've now changed this floor a bit, add a bit more texture here, and I've added the staircase. So we've got some lovely staircase here, and then we have the staircase down to the bottom lower, which I have done the layout, and I am slowly adding bits to make this look awesome. So that's one of the projects that I'm working. This is more off, off stream, off camera. And potentially, like, if I finish a project while I'm streaming, I will come over and do this. But I'm not very good at interiors, so everything I'm doing, I'm learning off the bat. So hopefully I'm doing all right. So here's my, like, li library area. And, yeah, it's pretty cool. So one of the projects that I have been working off camera, because it's such a tedious one, is we have this massive mine shaft. And I can never glide down it properly. Nah, that's probably the best I can do. So, I'm not too much about that. That's just like my mind that I go and mine. But here it is. The community underground tunnel is what I've been working on. And then finally, I know, I know I've been talking a lot. But I just need to catch you guys up. <laughs> and finally, if you didn't catch the stream, I started working on the spawn itself. So hopefully people will spawn here. I did do loads of tests to find out the spawn, and it is literally this circle. So I'm gonna probably have to like spawn proof these so we can't spawn on them. But hopefully they should spawn here. And off the bat, this is what you see. So we've got a map of the whole community hub area. So far we've only got the community farm. We've got the end shop, which is Brad's, and they've got the uh, little island spawn bit here, which is pretty cool. I love the fact how I've made it into like a little island and. Uh, it flows. I've I built my first little waterfall as well, which I'm pretty proud of that. That X there is uh, where I marked out for Pan to build his uh, never portal for the, the community area. Right, so to get on with today's project. Now, I have three tasks. Three little tasks to do. I want to build a, a villager breeder, which is going to be... Oh, yeah, I built a little uh, sheep farm as well. So this one. So over here is where I want the villager breeder, but this is where this one's going to be a fairly big project to start off with. So I don't want it to be down there. I want it all to be at this level. So therefore, we'll have to flatten this all to this level. So that means getting a ton of dirt and literally dirting this whole area. I'm not going to fill it in underneath. So what I'm going to do is, so like the villager breeder, the, the village will come underneath and then there'd be some sort of system underneath where I can like shift them out wherever I need the villagers to go. So what we're going to do is we're going to crack on with a little bit of a time lapse of me building this farm. So let's begin. <laughs>
right, so we've finally got the farm somewhat done. The basic of the farm is done and it should hopefully work. We just need to get the villagers moved over here, which we'll be doing a little bit later. But I thought what we need to do before we do anything is, I think it was last episode or the episode before, but Brad came over and gave us a shocker box full of gunpowder and a few other diamonds for payment for Sonic. But I felt like he overpaid and I've made him a goodie box to say thank you. And hopefully he'll appreciate this. And let's have a little look at what's in here. So we've got sugarcane because we've got a sugarcane farm. We've got some cactus. Got some bee nest just in case he wants to do anything with bees. Some stone brick. A bunch of wood because a wood is just a, a ball lake to get. <laughs> well, it's not. It's really easy. But And then we've got a... Uh, I don't even know how I got these. It's never right. Um... Not that right. Ancient debris, sorry. Um, things. So I'm going to go over to Brad's and give him that. Place that here. And put a sign. Goodie box. Goodie box from Lamb. Bam. There we go. So hopefully he'll enjoy that. <laughs> now I've done this. Yeah, he's probably going to need some wood. Like He's probably got loads because he's got loads of roof around here, but you know what? That's still four stacks of spruce and four stacks of oak. So that's pretty decent. I know stone bricks are pretty easy, but it's fair. I had it like this, so I was like, I have no idea what to fill that, and I haven't really got too much stuff to give. So I don't know. I think that's a good little goodie box. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. What should I have changed in this? Should I have added anything different, or should I have swapped some of my stuff out? Let me know. So let's get back. And let's place a lot of dirt. So we're finally finished placing all the dirt that I actually have. And oh my god. <laughs> this has changed the area so much already. I know I've still got to fill this chunking. And I want to expand the uh, this dirt platform all the way over here. But that's not going to be today. I do want to finish this bit today. So I will have to go a little bit later to grind and get loads of dirt. But if we take a little flyby. And you can see all this space now we have to build stuff. So we have a tavern build inspired by a Skyrim tavern. It's going to be built here. And then we are going to have a barn obviously built there. And then we could have something over there and so forth, which is going to be insane. I might actually think about it now. So obviously we could have a tavern there, we could have a barn there. Do we have like a trading hall there for, for the villagers? Maybe. Now, I don't know if this farm is going to work as good as I hope. Because obviously I've doubled, or so they, I've tripled carpeted it so they won't walk over this but they can get shot by skeletons they will get hit by phantoms they will get hit by linesmen so i may have to build like a little outhouse so he can go into when it's night time but that is a thing that i'd have to look into a little bit later but now that's all done and i'm feeling we need to start getting these villagers over here breeding so we've got all this all set up here and it's looking lovely. We've got the spare carrots to like throw at him to get him going. So let's go and build a track. Hopefully I've got enough track to get from spawn to here. And then we will get this farm up and running. I don't get how he's got so much momentum on the streets. Look at this. Mm. Go on, bud. You're nearly there. You need a push. I'll give you a push. 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 Right, so let's... No! Oh, you son of a gun. Wait. He's somewhat in. Wait, are we done this? 
<laughs> Have we finally got him in? Man, do, doing this in creative over survival. Like, obviously, I've done it in my survival, uh, creative world, but uh, oh, it is a different ball game doing this in survival. Villagers are the worst. <laughs> if anyone tells you anything differently, they're lying. <laughs> they're lying to themselves. Oh, here we go. Right, so he's f feeding them. They should be now getting love hearts. And then we should should touch touch wood. See a baby villager. They made a baby yet? Oh we done it! We did it! We got villager, baby! <laughs> oh, yes, it's worked. Right, now the ultimate test is... None of these have got protection. And... What? Why did he have to mess this up? God damn. I was well, well, like, chuffed to myself. I was like, you know what? I've actually done a really good farm. So, my dude, so we need to have a little chat before we uh, carry on with this episode. So, a lot has happened since the last time I recorded that previous clip to where we are now. But we need a better place than this to chat. So, up in that top floor, let's go make a beautiful office. So we get our stuff, and we'll go do it. Oh, wait, wait, wait. What's this? Compliments of the beach squid. So that's a new shop in the community hub, and a new member as well. So, <laughs> oh, damn. I'm <laughs> down. Oh, thank you so much, dude. Appreciate that. I will repay the favor. I'll leave that there for now. But it's time to get cracking with a little bit of a time lapse. Of us building this. So as we're going through this little replay, it is a short one. One reason, and one reason only, replay mod messed up. So hopefully I can get a fix for the next episode, but I doubt I will because I'm having so many people problems at the moment. It's unreal. Right, so now we've got the uh the meeting room all finished. We've got the job board over there, we've got the map of our area. And of course, we've got seats when we invite people over to have a little chat. But, oh, what the frick is that? Oh, that's my head. <laughs> like, what is it? So, we now have a awesome looking office area. We've got a job board area for when we uh, plan out some episodes. We've got the map over there and we've got our lovely desk was looking awesome with some stuff. And then we've got the diamond that Dan gave us. Thank you for the Christmas one. I liked it, so I thought, let's keep it. <laughs> but the reason why we've got this is so we can actually just sit here and have a little chat. And what I want to chat about is I had problems, big problems, with my computer. So that's why this episode has taken forever to bring you. <laughs> and so last time I recorded, I can't remember how long ago it was, I died. I completely lagged out. I flew into lava, lost all my gear. And I kind of quit. And the fact my computer died as well, pretty much. I have had to do so much stuff to my computer to get it fixed. But now we're back. I have already been on and did the stream over on my Twitch. So if you do want to check that out, my Twitch link is down below. But we did make some stuff in the community hub, which we're going to go check out next before we get on with the rest of the episode. So here we go. Here is Lamb's... Wait, what's it called? Is it called Lamb's Little Goodies? Yeah, Lamb's Little Goodies. <laughs> so we've got, obviously, the the ATM there if people keep their diamonds in there. So we're selling mini blocks at one diamond per block. Two woo, 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 diamonds per logs. Oh, <laughs> I haven't got the stock to like refill that. 
We've got Cactus there. We've got the Bamboo, and this is one that I knew was definitely sold out. 50. <laughs> oh my god, 57 diamonds. That's insane. And I know who done. I know who done this. To be fair, he did it live on stream, and I, I did see it already, so it's kind of a, a little bit of a spoiler, but yeah. <laughs> Pan come over here and just like, absolutely wrecked my uh, stock, so let's just fill this. Right, so the other thing that I worked on is, I did say at the beginning of this episode, a long, long time ago, but I was going to do this sort of stuff on stream, and we have, we've ruined it a lot more, we've made it so it looks more cracked, we've got a, a first ever custom tree for me, well, this is my second, no, it's my second custom tree I've ever made, there's a little dinky thing, but I think it's cute, and that's coming out there, I'm going to build a bit up here and make it into an arch, so like it looks like it's a was a window here, which would be pretty cool, and of course we have the map here, which is slowly getting updated. Look, we've got lambs, little goodies. We've got Brad's new enchantment shop, which I spent a lot of diamonds on. <laughs> I filled up a struggle box full of enchanted books. He's also, the nether portal's obviously getting built. It was going to be over here, but Pam moved it over there, which is fine. And then we've got the wings of storage and the new shop, which is where, what the goodie box was. And we're going to check that out right now. Welcome to the beached squid. Home of your natural needs and don't needs. Oh, wait. Oh, he hasn't put the prices yet. Okay. Oh, name tags. Love that. So we've got loads of fish, rods. Oh, okay. But this is a really cool build. Uh, I love the armor stands. Because we've got the armor stand mode. You got him captain it. And then this is my favorite part of it. This bit here. It just looks so sick. <laughs> Oh, it looks so cool. Bam, bam. Yeah, so it's, it's good to see that the, the community hub is actually now being worked on with all these new faces. So I didn't tell you earlier, but we've added about another... F <laughs> ah! I like the fact I was saying a minute ago that I have kind of fixed my computer. I, I think it's to do with having replay mode running at the same time, which is crashing Minecraft. So I might, for the future, for now, not have replay mode. So I apologize for that, but I have to do what's best for me. What I was saying before my game actually cut out was we've added more people to the server. We think we've added about five more people. So it's going to be a lot more active on here now, which is going to be awesome. So it's time to go and finish what we started <laughs> a long, long time ago. <laughs>
So we're finally finished building the village breeder, which you can see kind of in the background. But I'm not going to show you that right now. I am going to throw you back to a meeting I had with Pan about one, going into business with each other, and two, starting the authority. Now, the reason why I want to start the authority is because there's been shenanigans happening on the server, which needs someone to sort out. And there is talks of people trying to make a black market. And the community hub does not need that. We're fine how it is. So I'm going to throw you back to that meeting with Pan. And yeah, enjoy. Hello, uh, Pan Tanto. Wow. Welcome. Hi. So uh, it's a bit of an uncomfortable chair. It's because I'm the boss, all right? That's just how it is. I get big chair, you get a little chair. Okay. <laughs> I see how it is. <laughs> So, first order of business that I'll call you for. So, okay. you see behind you, you see, see my map. You've got this big old ocean. I do, yeah. There's a, there's a lot of blue. There's a, there's, there's a market in the shopping district for uh, rockets. No one, no one has any. Do you want? Yeah. We could a uh, creeper farm, sugarcane farm, right in the ocean. In the ocean. That's somewhat near both of us. I mean, I've already got a creeper farm set up at my base. We can get a more efficient one in the middle of the ocean. Hmm. We could do. And to think, I'm I'm always working over here, so I can always like, hey, I'll always AFK over there. We go straight straight down the middle, fifty fifty. Yeah, I, I'm I'm down for setting up a a rocket business. So, uh, oh, if you uh want to make the uh, creeper farm <laughs> yeah, and I'll, I'll do the sugarcane farm there uh that'd be awesome like literally we'll, we'll take the market take it by storm sell rockets by the bucket load May maybe even one two and three maybe even mm -hmm. tnt you know we could always expand i don't know if we want to expand that especially with uh <laughs> some of the people we have on this server Someone, com someone comes on our turf. We know Maybe, that right. we, we we are not that little red block. Which uh, brings me to my second agenda of this uh, meeting. Oh, so it comes to my attention that the the, the, the shopping hub, the communal hub, needs someone to uh, look after it. It needs an authority figure. Let's just say that, yeah, an authority figure. I feel like with you by my Wait, side, with you, with you by my side, we can stop all these special people trying to take over the communal hub. I'm higher up than you, I'm more important. I'm on my chair. <laughs> you see this diamond? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I was thinking we, we, we could start an authority. Anyone tries to undercut people, we shut them down. Anyone starts growing sugarcane illegally, we shut them down. Maybe. I mean, it feels quite cruel. Well, but business is business, you know. And I want to stay the kingpin of the server. Right. And 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 so you just want to impose and and you could take this and and you could be there by my side. As your right hand man. Exactly. As 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 you rule the, the server. Exactly. And then, you know, when I'm away, you're you're the you're the guy, you know? You you will be the guy. I'd be the guy in charge. Anyone anyone uh, you know, wanna mess with your end shop? Bye bye, you know. <laughs> we can make things mm. happen. I'm I'm down. So my, my plan, I haven't got my stuff to fly over there, but we need to make a massive, massive authority building, a big ass tower watching over. So we can just sit there watching all these X craft members scurrying about. Why would we build that in the community center? Well, so you see that little, uh, 
mountain ish thing in front of my base. Just here. It's not actually on the uh, communal hub, you know, that people might think it's just my build, but secretly it'd be yeah, the authority. True. So that was a successful meeting with Pan. One, we're going into business together. And two, we are going to be the first two members of the authority. Now, next episode, I will be building the authority building, which is going to be absolutely awesome. But this is the building that we built today. Now, I'm a bit... Not too sure about the overall look of this with all the uh, vines and stuff. I might cut away some of these, put some string, because like, that's a bit too overgrown for my liking. But I do like the vine, I do like the bushes, but we might change it up a little bit later. But as you can see, we've got a little logo there for the uh, the tavern, which is pretty cool. We've got like, the bar area and then another entrance there, which is absolutely awesome. Now, I'm really happy with how overall this has turned out. And yeah, my initial attempt to make it look a bit like Skyrim has gone out the window and you can't really see much Skyrim essence from this build, but it doesn't really matter. I've made it my own and yeah, it looks fabulous. Now we have a little look inside. I haven't really done anything. <laughs> There's just a floor. The villagers are over there breeding like mad, but overall that is what it is. So guys, if you did enjoy this episode and you do want to see more X-Craft, all you got to do is smash that like button. And of course, hit the subscribe button with that notification bell turned on. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. The authority is always watching.